Hey, Jersey Devil 1976 here. Got a quick update on the vintage Star Wars figure collection. Just picked up a small lot of figures, so let me just quickly show you what I got. This one is Ramba. This is the last Ewok that I need for my collection. Uh, he did not have his hood or his spear, uh, but that's okay. He was wearing Chief Chirpa's hood, so at least I got an extra one of these now. But overall, it's a really good figure. Uh, nice stiff limbs. A uh, good paint job on the face and the belt, so uh, he'll display very nicely with the other ones. Tebow, you know, I already just finished him. Um, Lumut, I already have that figure. Here's mine. So basically what I'm going to do is just use this as an extra one, and then uh, the quiver and hood from this one will go on mine to almost complete him, and then eventually I'll find a bow for him, and then he'll be done. So that's what our plan was on those two. And then the last one is from the Ewoks cartoon, and this is Wicket. And it's a pretty cool figure. Uh, not what I expected. I thought this figure was one of those figurines, very similar to ones I just purchased not too long ago, uh, until I actually got it and saw it, um, because the picture online was pretty small, and I kind of got the idea of what it was, but I wasn't really sure. Uh, so once I got it, I was like, oh, this is actually a figure. So I started looking it up and found out that it was from the cartoon show. And uh, it's a really cool figure. He's in really good shape. Uh, he's got no scratches or chips from his uh, face or his belly or his hood. So, And the limbs are really super stiff on it. It barely looks like he's ever been played with. Uh, he did not come with his spear, though, which uh, uh, I wish he had, but... Overall, I think it's still a pretty cool figure. And, uh, you know, I can just... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to start collecting these. I, I don't think I really have any desire to do that. So, they'll probably just get displayed on top of my case until I figure out uh, if I could trade them in and uh, maybe get some other figures or something like that. So, But overall, I think it's still a pretty cool figure, so I might just hold on to them for a while. So, uh, just really quickly, that that's the lot that I got, and... So I was able to get one that I'm missing and almost complete one that I have, and then I have a cool uh, couple extras. And uh, I only ended up paying about $6 a piece for them, so uh, I think I did pretty good uh, on spending the money, and um, I think I got some pretty decent deals, So, and then the collection grows. So uh, pretty soon I think I'm going to have to rearrange the... Uh, the return of the Jedi shelves here so I can fit these uh, all these figures I've been getting recently so that's all I really got if anybody else has any other information on this wicket because I don't really know a whole lot about that toy line or this figular uh, figure in particular so just let me know and uh, we'll see what we can do with them so any questions or comments just let me know and uh, I'll see you all next time thanks everyone